So this is my tiny little uh, <laughs> playlist that, I've, that I started making uh, today. Um, and these three songs here, so we have Songbird by Oasis, Paperback Writer, so that is G or G7 and C. And then we have Eleanor Rigby as well, which is just, I believe, C and E minor. Yeah. That's so right. just all just three songs with just different combinations of the chords that we looked at earlier, where we now have loads of variations that we can play and add into. Um, we can kind of go about and do our own thing here. So to add a little bit of a variation in there, I swapped from just G to G7. So timing wise, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, to C, and back to G. But the whole song, you can just use those two chords, which is really, really brilliant. Um, so moving between them, obviously, if you, we wanted to add some of these higher ones in, we can absolutely do that. Add the C variation that we had in, and back to G. Yeah, so that was Paperback Writer. But again, the whole song, we can literally use these you know, all these variations, because it's only two chords. Um, I think I did actually get up a little web page with, yes, I did. Oh, I'm almost super organized today. There we go. So the whole song, um, they've used G7, but you can use G if you want to. And any of the chords that we had on the other sheet uh, with um, the variations on, we can do. So G7, 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 C. So it's a, it's a really, really great one to use. Um, and, then, and of course, it means that you have to listen to the Beatles to play along. And there's, you know, there's a great one to that. do. And it's then, a great introduction to the Beatles for the, for, the younger, for the younger generation, definitely. Absolutely. So two chords. And then obviously this time, you know, you can use G or, or G7. But the C to G7 hop is a great one to practice as well. Mm. Um, but again, because you've got so much time on the G or the G7. You know, you can mess about, you can explore, you can try and, you know, create counter melodies to what's going on. Um, it's a great one to kind of mess about with because you've got so much time. And then when you go into the C chord, you know, Either of those will work really, really nicely, and then you strip back in the G. So have fun with that because it's a great one. Uh, at the top here, I've got another one open with Alan Rigby. Um, ignore these crazy numbers. You can literally play an E minor for all of it. But the whole thing, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, C, E minor. The whole thing. So all of these chords that we've done. Oop, sorry. All these little variations we can add in and we can we can have a lot of fun with but the whole song just C and E minor no kappa standard tuning yeah so those those three songs in particular so um songbird where we've just got G and E minor that's one combination of those three um paperback writer where you can have G and C or G7 and C that's a, that's a combination two of these chords and then Eleanor Rigby, where we've got C and E minor, that's our third combination. And we're practicing different chord changes as we do it. So I find it really, really kind of like, there's three kind of intro songs with the chords that we've got. I think these these three are fantastic because they're just, you know, the different orders. Brilliant, uh, yeah. Quite a bit of time on the chords because there's yeah. only two chords per song. We don't have to think about, you know, like a four chord chord progression like we often do with a lot of songs. and. Um, you know, we've got time to experiment and, you know, think, oh, actually, with Paperback Writer, for example, because um, you've got so much time on the G chord or the G7 chord, why don't you try and arpeggiate it? Oh, nice. You know, and see if you can match, you know, match a bit of the riff and, you know, really have fun with it because it's, it's, it's they're such great songs to learn.